Oh, you never. No. Oh, shit, sorry. Someone in call for me? But you need to stream for your freaking mind. You sound a bear for a minute there. <laughs> SMR the right to the fear. If they don't announce anything about those related, I'm going to cry, get on the ground, and cry it more. Guessing there will probably be more stuff. There'll be stuff from Rare. Magic Kazooie went on. Yeah, that's the thing. Since when did Rare make a good game? Magic Kazooie. Well, ignoring Sea of Thieves. Oh, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> you took my trump card. <laughs> sea of Thieves they are Steve now Martin. just. Muda, 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 ora, 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 and fucking. <laughs> this has been the longest. Six minutes. Six, uh, six, 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 it's just about to hit six minutes the right down for me. Uh, I'm a little bit behind then. I bet you're watching this for YouTube, it'll be faster. Now they're copy pasting dicks. Someone said Splatoon 3. Wrong oh, yeah, chat. We more of a cyberpunk, aren't we? Cyberpunk 2020. Hmm. I'm trying to think what more we can see from Xbox. Um. Oh god, well, no Halo's gonna be there, so... Um... The fucking copy-pasting is real. <laughs> it's all coming up those stairs that apparently translate the question, though. No Halo's gonna be there. Five minutes. Oh my god, they're talking about people standing about Skate 4 last time. Yeah, the, uh, they're talking about how people were spamming Skate 4 last time. Someone's chat. I swear if we do see something Warhammer related, I'm... Oh my god, they're talking about... Oh. Someone's chat. Someone's chat. Someone's chat. Someone's chat. Someone's chat. No, no, I'm watching the mainstream itself. <laughs> as well.
my me. I do keep hearing a beeping. Ow. Oh. Jesus, what is this damn? It's hell on it, basically. Oops. Turns out my microphone wasn't on the entire time I was streaming. <gasps> Oops. I was talking the entire time there. Oh well. Who cares? What, what, what matters is our, our reactions. Hey, you want to bet we'll see another knack again? <laughs> Isn't that Sony? No. But, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. But, well, I'm eating, I'm eating all together. And so, well, later on. I would like to see, just so I can see other people's reactions, the knack is back. I'm, I am also wanting to see if there's like a state of the case. E3, more like PP, am I right, fellas? You are right. You are correctively correct. Close the blinds. Hug some unzip my pants. Let's go. <laughs> Do you want a better app to be somehow introduced in this somehow? Mm hmm? Take that, Todd Howard. Bruh. Bruh. Phone works now. Like that's cool. I can use my screen. Well, at least you can use your screen. The uh, try not to spam it. We're we're gonna, we're all just wanting to enjoy E3 here. Yeah, E3 is about to start. By the way, we're starting. Don't don't please. Here we go. It's in the corner. I'm not gonna touch it. Let me refresh just to see. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay. I'm just waiting to see, I'm just waiting to see the back, free uh, console. I'm gonna acquire it right. It's gone very quiet. It has indeed. Very quiet. Has it started for you yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, we're here. Oh, here we go. Uh, silence. Is it silence for you as well? Oh, it's because I turned my sound off. Sorry. Nine. Eight. Dope. E3 said sarcasm? What? All right, let's go. What are you? What are you reading? The whole stage, stage go black. Xbox E3 2019. Oh, I wait for this every year. Will premiere? Yes. Oh, Warzone. Oh, that was Battletoads. Battletoads. Minecraft. Years. MC. Yep. Uh, I don't know what that is. Hey, we happy few, a game that everyone was excited for and then no one liked it. Turned out to be shit, yeah. That means Gearbox are gonna be here. Uh, oh yeah, they're here for Borderlands. They announced that there were, there's gonna be some Borderlands yeah. stuff. See you, Fee. Hello. And more Forza. Alright. This is the Xbox 20. Can I, turn, can I get that caption off? Oh, it's MCC. Let's go. My corporate model is oh, the we are. and most efficient structure history has ever shown us. Scheduled scarcity. Wait, what is this? Is this Outer Worlds? Oh, this is this is Outer Worlds, I think. Yes. <laughs> In a senseless and chaotic world. This I'm pretty sure it is. The furthest colony in the galaxy. Oh yeah. Proudly owned oh and yeah, out in the world. Everything we have, everything we are, we owe to them. Oh, this looks good. They are always with us. No one has ever gone against them. Is it getting a Bioshock feeling from this? I'm getting a very Fallout-y feeling, and like the Bioshock art style as well. 
Wait, hold up. What's this? What are they showing off now? Power worlds. Someone who's Power worlds. Uh, up their secrets. You know, the Epic Games exclusive. I don't want to think about that right now. Someone By the original creators of Fallout. Or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Or a psychopath. Oh, there's no... <laughs> <laughs> Ironic. Oh. Put your play with the Xbox Game Pass at launch. Yes, I have I've... that. Good luck. This looks good. I suppose time will tell, but no matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony will never be the same. It's weird that they're starting with this. I wouldn't have expected yeah, them to start with this. this. Definitely, this is really good. Shame yeah. it's an Epic Store exclusive. So, uh, so oh. next. Because um, Obsidian are the original creators of Fallout. Uh, okay. Before Bethesda took Ooh. over and rubbed their corporate dicks all over it. October 25th. It's basically like a reviving Fallout thing. He's welcome. Phil Spencer? Theory, no. Dom Not Phil Spencer. Ninja Fury! Yeah. Oh, they'll be showing up for a new game here. The one that they've been talking about for a while. Broad Edge, you know what the fuck it's called? At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja mm. Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios. A move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, Ooh, and in the near future, We'll be sharing so details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making. And we're happy to return to E3 looks like a to week. share this with you. A little bit. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat, and competitive team multiplayer. Are you else feeling lesbian? Our technical alpha is kicking off in just That's a, a couple rough. of weeks, and we'd love for you I'm to sorry. sign up, get involved, <laughs> and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. Yeah, I forgot what the name of it was, but this, that was it. Yeah. Mm. Bleeding Edge. Here we go. This is one of their exclusives. Oh, this trailer was leaked, I forgot. Yeah. <clears throat> Copyright claimed. Mm. Oh no, this better not be another hero shooter. It's a third person hero shooter. Oh no, that's like, oh god, this is gonna go the way of fucking oh no. Battleborn. Not Battleborn, um is it again? It was one of them that it was really good, but it just didn't take off. So this is going to be Overwatch in third person, essentially? essentially? It looks like it. I mean, I like the character design. I like I the just girl. don't like characters. I like cute looking girls. They're, they're very easy to like. Ooh! Gizmo? Ooh. That's soon. Is it just me or is it just a more bloody version of Splatoon? Doesn't eh. look anything like Splatoon. <laughs> oh. Wait. Ori in the Blind Here Forest. Comes the Here comes another one. I'm pretty sure this is Ori in the Blind Forest. Ori in the Blind Forest, huh? Has to be. We're apparently getting another fable. Mmm. Yep. Ori in the Bind Forest. And the Will of the Wits. I forget how beautiful of a game this is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Very nervy, too. Um, I wasn't keeping on the hook. 
Arachnophobic's nightmare. Wow, this looks visually good. Jesus. Oh, hey, it's me in the morning. It's what the fridge is the first thing. <laughs> This yeah, looks... are, and you get a Rayman feeling from this. Well, I think they're made on similar engines. Also, yeah, they have just similar art styles in a, in a sense. Yeah. So yeah, I'm getting some some Rayman vibes. I got Rayman vibes from the original. Release date? We're getting a release date? Man, there we go. Man, 2020. I can, me and my and Holly, like, like seven years ago, we were making constant jokes about how, like, hey, when is this thing coming? And we go 2020 as a joke. Ooh, what's that? Oh, is that Minecraft? Is that Minecraft? Is that Minecraft? This From is. Oh Minecraft. my God! Is this? Is it Minecraft story? Mode part two. I don't yeah, think it, looks it is. It's like an RPG. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a. It's a third person. No, it's like an eagle view. That looks it's visually an awesome. Isometric dungeon crawler. It's Minecraft too. It's Diablo, but Minecraft. Oh that my god. That looks really cool. That does look actually really fucking. Oh my god. This is oh one second, give me a minute. You know what's getting opened here. It's co-op! Oh my what god. This looks awesome. Oh my it is basically Minecraft too. You wanna know what's you wanna know what's really really funny? I'm expecting this to also be a view of how Minecraft's gonna look in the future. Hmm. Oh, If they do get Minecraft to look like this in first person. Wow, what a generic name, but damn, that looks Minecraft really cool. Minecraft Dungeons. Rest in peace, Call of Duty. Um, wow, that looks really nice. I'm ready to die. That's Please it. Welcome the head of Xbox. Oh. Phil Spencer! My boy! Show me your suit and, like, gaming tie. Oh, he doesn't have a suit on. Wait, full spec. You do know what's if that, if if he's up here. You know what it, you know what's about to happen, right? Forza or Halo, or the or the new oh, Xbox or the new Xbox console. hardware. Yeah, the new hardware. I get the feeling that's what's gonna be. You know that it's gonna be a new version of the Xbox One. Maybe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We on Team Xbox live for this exact Thank moment. You. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA. And the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and it's new an heroes for the very first mm -hmm. time. It's an LA this this year. moment mm. isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your new gaming console. history. Yeah, I think it's a new console. Your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater. Screw you people watching online. Or one of the billions <laughs> around the world who play games. Welcome to E3 2019. All right. This right now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and gamers <laughs> together. Now well, I don't know what's nice about him. He's supportive to even to other co companies. I mean, Xbox is becoming very, uh, if you can't beat him, join him recently. Yeah. So I'm kind of liking that. Of creative possibility. With more games, 
more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us gamers, rise now up. play games in every region most oppressed and on group. every continent. Rise up. Yep. And with new technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want with He's whomever talking about we the hardware. want yep. and new wherever console. we want. Where, wherever we want. He yeah. said, he said, wherever we want. He's gonna talk about that fucking Minecraft uh, augmented reality game. Oh, yeah. My or are they about to do an Xbox VR? In our resolve. Or they're about to do a portable everyone, Xbox console. The games they want. One of those. To connect everyone the to play with oh. the friends they want, and <sighs> to empower everyone to play wherever they want. Wherever they want. He's being very specific. This is why we keep innovating hardware and services. Or are they able to do an Xbox Switch? We're uniting communities through cross play. Is the, the next Xbox console is going to be portable? With new distinctive creators. Mm -hmm. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world for your next new game. This cross play even with mobiles, I'm betting you. Showcase mm -hmm. of games on any stage, anywhere, this year. Oof. <laughs> Stop being such a cock days, man. Today, from the you gotta have these low, low points. ...across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you. Oof. Including 14 60. games from Xbox Game Studio. Well, I heard him say Fortnite. I really expected him to be like, including Fortnite. <laughs> in including Game Fortnite. Battle. Yes! I'm happy with that. In addition to showcasing all of these games over the show, we'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Ooh. Studios. Sharing Ooh, our go. expansive plans for streaming, and of course, revealing more about our next new console. Oh. We're gonna get that in a bit by so the looks of it. Why do I get the today. feeling it's called the X-Cloud? I, I, I could expect that. People are saying it's called the Scarlet. Oh, what is this? The Harry... No, it's the Star Wars. I thought it was the Harry Potter. Star Wars. Wait, this is from EA then. Mm-hmm. This is Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah. Of course it is. That looks gorgeous, actually. This is certainly better gameplay than what they were showing off yesterday. said EA wouldn't be there. Yeah, and they're not there. They're not doing their own conference. Yeah, they're publishing it now. If that comes to the Game Pass, I'll give it a try. I'll probably give it a try as well. See, this is just them, like, montaging the footage they showed yesterday. The numbers just dropped by 700. But, uh, but they're... Oh, but are y'all are watching on Twitch or the E3 website? I'm watching I've on Twitch. Got, um, on, on Xbox's I've Twitch. I've got, like a, I've got a weird thing where I have streamer numbers up. I just like to see that kind of thing. I mean, this is just like... They, they're montaging the footage they showed off yesterday. You do know... You do know what's actually quite sad, right? Well... Regardless of what they do here... He's dead. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. You are not replacing R2. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not gonna die. You're selling merchandise for us. World premiere. Said, Ooh. Right. What's next? I'm setting up my seat now. World. Oh. World premiere. <laughs> Shh, what is this? Is this slender? No. Or is it the rake? It's Outlast! What the? Outlast! Outlast 3! Yep, that's Outlast. That's Outlast. All right, it has to that. be. It has to be. Or is it Alan Wake 2? Oh my, wait. Is it Alan Wake? Oh. 
It's Silent Lake 2! Okay, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Wait, wasn't oh. there already an Alan Wake 2? Wait up, Bullet! Bullet! That's basically Alan Wake 2. Yep, this is Alan Wake <laughs> So it's in first person. The first Alan Wake game was really good. I loved it. Oh yeah. Oh Alan this Wake, is a this uh, is a hundred percent was fucking beautiful. Yeah, this is a hundred percent Alan Wake. I didn't it's drive with American Nightmare though. It's either, is it? it's either Alan Wake or it's set in the Alan Wake universe. It might not be either. It looks very like Eldritch. Or is this or is this that is this that um HP oh. Lovecraft game I'm hearing about? Who are Blair Witch? I don't think this would be, this would be Lovecraft, there's not enough tentacles. Okay, Blair well, Witch! Let's find this kid. I get the feeling this may be it's either Outlast, Blair Witch, or Is it Blair Witch? Might be Blair Witch. Oh. I don't recognize that logo. Blair Witch! Blair Witch! Oh! Holy fuck, that's actually really good! That's kinda cool. Wait, what? Ooh! Gone red. No! Red. Why Cyberpunk. is this here? Cyberpunk. This is not Microsoft! It's Cyberpunk 2077! Mm-hmm. It's coming to the Xbox as well, they finally, they've agreed to it too. He's got the strap. I got the strap. Self-driving car. He reminds me of Paul Walker. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just Holy shit, CeeLo Green. <laughs> you got the chip? It looks like CeeLo Green. All right, start her up, bug. He's got blood, go he's got blood on his Wash up. face. He's gonna be with you in a minute. He's been killing. Oh, Definitely. Man, your neck, it's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. Why well, do I get the feeling he's even voiced by CeeLo Green? Or it's a biggie smile. Oh yeah, didn't they say this was in first person? Yep, yeah. yeah. they can't be inferred as well. Wait, is that a clone? going to the major leagues, Jack. Jack? Oh, Oh, no. Okay, get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help okay. is required. Just, just hold on. Just... Hey, hey, just think about all the good that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. reason to want to play the game, how dark it looks. Mm. Oh yeah, the cyberpunk universe is dark as fuck. I've been hearing that it's Ooh. supposed to be really, really... If you can, give some of the old 2020 books to read through. It's wild. Ooh. I'm just waiting to see something Warhammer related, because I've been hearing them might get vermintide free. Every corporal cop in this city is going to be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. People in the chat are asking if this robot is top. Imagine if it was. Oof. I. Oh. I would perish. Shit. 
Ooh, Ooh gameplay! This is what I, 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 I wanted this. Ooh, here we go. Oh Wait, we this is... Samurai. We have a city to burn. Oh my god. Keanu Reeves! No way. John Wick, huh? <laughs> Fucking John Wick. Imagine if it is actually here. Is he actually here? Wow. Oh, look who it is. I think that was Johnny Silverhand. Like, it's Kanye Reeves, obviously, but I think the character in the game is Johnny Silverhand. Mm. By the way, see if you ever do meet him, and see if you ever are ever lucky enough to meet him. Be mm -hmm. a friend, because he actually does say that he's a very lonely person. Hmm. Right. I hate how they say that it's the guy from Fortnite and the guy underneath All it said right. the guy from Payday. Alright. <laughs> I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> I mean, I gotta talk to you about something. CD Project Red. So far, this has been okay. It's alright. Cyberpunk 2077. Alright. A while back, the guys from CD Projekt Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character oh, through in-game choices. And it's this not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Cyberpunk. I was hoping that this game is good. It's set in a metropolis of the future, where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you. The feeling of of being there, of walking the streets. A whole lie. This is actually is really a little cringe. <laughs> I, I don't really care. I mean, he's trying his best. It's, it's a video game based off a tabletop game. The whole thing's gonna be a little cringe. I'm happy that it's Keanu. So, I guess I gotta finish this. So tell me, do you guys want to know um, when there's uh, when it, the release date? I. Yeah. Oh, oh. All right. Mm -hmm. Then check this out. Ready now? Oh, oh wow. Oh, hey. oh. Easy. Game play. Mr. Hand sent me. Am I right for the job? Holy shit. Okay, I'm in. Oh. Oh. Go to the other side. Let's do this. Holy shit, was that a Kuma? Matrix. Oh! Oh, we got a bit of a wait. We got a bit of a wait. Oh my just, god. Just over, just under a year. Can I, can I, can I pre-order it? Where can I pre-order it? I'm gonna buy it now. World premiere. Ooh. Ooh. Just moving straight on, let's go. World premiere, it's a new one. Brand new. Oh my, is this a sequel to Oxen Free? No. No. No way. Coming to Xbox. Ooh. Oh, it's coming to the Game Pass. Oh, it's got furries. This is basically oh, just furries. For it's, video fucking, game. it's fucking, it's fucking Terraria. It's Terraria 2. Terraria 2D. Oh. Terraria's already in 2D, you numbskull. This is adorable! This looks lovely. Look at that snake girlfriend! Come on. This looks gorgeous. Oh dear. But I'm gonna say goodbye. Oh. Oh no. I don't wanna do that. Oh my heart! I don't wanna do that. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's like a hardcore Animal Crossing. Wait, is this. 
Oh shit! Every one of the Cyberpunk 20, uh, 2077 servers freaking. Oh, you out send right their now. spirits away. That's depressing. Spirits. Oh wait, wait is this a pro Oh, this is a purgatory game. Yeah, you play as like. Oh, it looks like you play as like a. <laughs> Like a Grim Reaper esque. You're, you're helping them move on, I guess. Yeah, oh. that's that's really depressing. But that's that. Like, oh, bottle toads. What? Yep, bottle toads. I recognize that from Oh my god. Yeah. This looks so hilariously tacky. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> it looks so hoping... like second budget. But it's almost like um. It's almost like how the Ninja Turtles free the Ninja Turtles game was. Remember the two D battle one? Hmm. Weren't there four of them? I'm not too sure. Where well, there was? Why is this art style reminding me of Invader Sim something more? Oh a more? yeah, a little bit, tiny bit. Were they P and? I mean, this is this is so just like tacky. Like everyone wants battle toads. Let's let's just save. Like it's a kind of it's riding off of main potential almost. Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know. Let's just right. Oh, yeah, this. This game. This game's this game's by the guys that make Cuphead. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Wow, it's like. Actually, on a proper board. Oh my god, this looks actually really good. I mean, at least they, if it is them, they can definitely nail an art style. It's not going to be on the past. That's a shame. Oh wow. I love how the life in like everything is integrated into the the game. Oh god, did they just fourth wall break? Dude, I love how there's you can actually see the split down the middle of the page during the Holy shit, it's Xbox Amiibo. <laughs> no 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 um, Xbox um shit again the finger. Oh. oh what is this? Oh, it's an indie game showcase. Oh, we're doing the indie game showcase, are we? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Indie game textbooks. Oh, jeez, it's buffering. Hey, Pathologic. Pathologic 2 is actually fucking amazing. You have the cat I, I really like the developers life. of that. I really wish they'd make a Star sequel to Knock Knock. All on Xbox Great. Game Pass. All I'm seeing on the Game Pass. Okay, <laughs> that'll be more for me to play. Fucking tabs. After party. You're uh, pretty behind. The good life. All oh, it's supposed to be really interesting. Creature in the wild. You might want to refresh. Felix the Reaper. Wait a minute, I'm gonna refresh it. Just keep going with what you're saying. Oh, yeah, never mind, are we? Dude, that game is so fucking detailed. It, the game, the stream couldn't handle it. Yeah. Taxi prison. Oh, night caller. Totem tower. Nothing super duper stood out to me in that that compilation, unfortunately. Please welcome <clears throat> head of Xbox partnership. I know Pathologic Two is actually really worth the play through. Like it's a real. Oh, Pathologic title. definitely. But... Everything else, yeah, not really. But the only reason I really like Pathologic is because the developers All the made Knock Knock. Xbox games you just mm. saw will premiere on Xbox oh, Game Pass was good. day one. At Xbox, our oh, passion is to help you find and play the games that you mm. love. Through creation, 
curation. Even we're still a thing. Well, it is, but the ultimate not. expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels. It's really weird. There ran only one ear ring. Seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems. And craft partnerships well, with their creators the so that you can the discover your I think. next favorite game. Mind blowing experiences, epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. Well, we're gonna feel this is the console. Been awesome to see. I don't know, they wouldn't be the one answering the console. Have had an Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new or this is the announcement where they put up the price of the Game Pass. Fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of This is a Game, game Pass centered announcement thing. Looks like from it. More genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. Already said that, but you got it accentuated, I guess. Let's uh, I'll let know what's we good. are thrilled to announce. New titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight, Ooh. Metro, Metro Exodus, <laughs> Hollow Knight, and Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Mm. Sounds like Kieran maybe crash or something. Oh well. That you can start playing today. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. What happened? That is why last month we announced Sorry Xbox about Game that. Pass for mm. PC. Mm. Wait, does that mean that if I buy a Game Pass, Today, that means I can play any game that comes out on PC as well? Yes, PC it does. Yep. Now. PC players can discover their next oh, so there's gonna be PC Xbox exclusive Game games for it, guys. No, I wouldn't think so. Games just for PC. It's just and a subscription service favorite, that allows you to play like games at a, a lesser cost without buying them fully. Emperor of Rome. And there wasn't much excitement for, for, for those. PC, with I'm actually Halo quite inside for Emperor of Master Chief Collection. Yes, please. Oh, Give me yeah. more. More come on, more Master Chief collection. More I'm Halo. Thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC <laughs> launches in open beta today. Ooh. Whenever you're ready. Hey, let's go for that. Shame I don't have money to buy a Game Pass today. I believe it's six ninety nine. Yeah, but I'm actually trying to buy a car, dog. I can't spend money. You bought a car? Damn, man. No, I'm trying to. I don't have the money right now. I gotta oh. get more money. <laughs> what was the Horizon 4 if you guys want to impress me? Imperator Room's really good. Halo Reach. So did they remaster the graphics for Reach, or is it just like a bone stock port? It's just a, it's just a port. All the EMC it's games stock, are just ports. It's, it's a stock game, but it works better. Yeah, it will okay. play at a higher FPS, so you can go higher resolutions, etc. Plus, it's going alive online that won't get hacked for a while. And all the newer Wolfenstein games are on there too. See, I'm not really a big fan of. of I'm not a big fan of pa uh, subscription passes like this because I'd like to actually buy my game to motivate me to play it. The way that they've done it is actually Xbox quite nice. Game oh, it's got that Tana. Is here yeah. Now. Try it out by downloading all new Xbox apps on the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you want it all, we have created a membership. Apple Window. Oh, you know what that means. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. The sequel to Smash Ultimate. <laughs> Xbox Game Pass you Ultimate. You get everything. Too. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great Ooh. games, Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community, and now Xbox Game Pass for PC at no. Whoa! That price! I it's a shame I don't have an Xbox. If I buy the standard That's one, what? That's already better than just buying gold. And almost. Because it's well, E3, gold itself, yeah. everyone can it's jump 99. in and play today oh. for one dollar. 
That's pretty good. Hey. Now go discover your next favorite game. World Premiere. Ooh, World Premiere, let's go. Let's go. World Premiere, that's something brand spanking new. Real-time 4K. The only, like, 1% of you are going to be able to utilize, because 4K isn't very common. Satellite data. Well, Real-time 4K, eh? Did you have to mention about satellite data? Satellite data and Azure AI. Oh, is this like a world exploration game? Are you actually traveling the world? It's a flight sim, isn't it? Plane! Playtime! Let's go! Yep, flight sim. <laughs> or or maybe you maintain. Like it's like a Oh, that's very detailed. Uh, the question is, is it study grade? It's not study grade. I'm not Whoa! Okay, maybe I am in control. Yeah, it's a flight sim, and they've got like lots of you Alcatraz. Get, so you get to fly over every everything. Wow, that's yeah. very detailed. This is probably the next Microsoft flight sim. Because like, the flight sim next was actually really, really good. And it was the same premise. Uh, like everything's satellite mapped and all that shit. This, they, honestly, this looks photorealistic. I um. What was Manchester? Huh. <laughs> this actually, in when some in a lot of situations, this looks photorealistic. Oh shit! It's multiplayer. Oh. Hey Aaron, well, I bet we we'll get to fly over turf. <laughs> I think I. The issue with flight sims like this, the civilian ones, I hate flying prop planes. Oh. I hate flying jets. It is actually. Yeah. This is Microsoft flight sim. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. World Premiere? It's not surprising that the Xbox Premier. Game Studios, that's one of their titles. Do you remember a time? Yeah. I've just finished both my things in Cloverbird. armies were built, and powerful cities collapsed, when the smallest of choices echoed through the pages of history. It was an age Ooh. of empires. Age of... Age of Empires! Oh my god! I loved this game when I was younger! Oh my god, it's... Oh. It must be weird producing a campaign. That's not looking at, look at a murder your PC. <laughs> but, uh... But uh, it must be weird creating a DLC for a game that you have to kind of visually downgrade for, to, to, for it to match. This is a remaster. Another Xbox Game Studios presents. Razors, I see you are a donkey oh. face. Welcome to beautiful Colorado, home to the Purple Mountains Master. Is that a blueberry? Is that a big ass blueberry? Hike through colorful canyons. Get up close and personal with a. There's this all out, but like. Home what is this? Eat where the locals eat. Is this Oregon Trail but apocalyptic? Oh. There's so much to see and do in this post-apocalyptic winter world. Wasteland! Ooh. It's Wasteland Eat Free! New people. Make new friends! Colorado has colorful characters and... Wouldn't yeah, they, wouldn't they have said, wouldn't they have said world premiere? Everywhere. I didn't say one well, premiere, so it's like a sequel. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. First round's on me. Uh, first round's on, on you. Ah, it is. Wait, Wait it's not free. Nice. Hey. That's a really good. That, that used to be that. Uh, Wait, Wasteland used to be for us. Xbox Game Studios. Yeah, my dad was telling Matt me. Booty. Uh, <laughs> the fuck out of Wasteland was. Matt Booty. Matt like, Booty. When he was my age. Matt Booty brings the booty. Come on. <laughs> Matt Booty brings the booty. Teams the booty. are at the heart of our mission. <laughs> Over the last year, we added seven. Oh my God! Clear your throat, man. Studios to Xbox. Oh. <laughs> It's fantastic to see some of these studios already sharing new games. Oh, clear your throat, please. Stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, 
Great studios are about people, teams, and It sounds and like ideas. somebody's got you by the balls, Our pop, success pop. comes down <laughs> to one Microsoft thing. probably has them by Creating the balls. Creating great games <laughs> that players love. And great games... No, the truth is, he's just trying not to laugh at his name. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox like Developers, Studio developers. Oh, my God. It's the guy that actually said that. Double Fine Productions. Oh. oh. Double Fine. <laughs> Wait a minute. Brutal Legends 2. It's been a beacon. Ooh. Of creativity and spirit in it could be a thing. Dude, I can expect that concern to Blinsky Games. With classic games like mm -hmm. Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. I'm looking forward to Double Fine joining Xbox and seeing what we create together. Please join me in welcoming the founder and president of Double Fine Productions, Tim Schafer. I heard this dude's a bit of an asshole, but... Tim Schafer's okay. He's, he's not a Randy Pritchford, but he, I heard he's a bit of a dick sometimes. Could be wrong, though. He doesn't like his games being criticized. Thank That's you. kind of thank how you he so is. Much. But he's and thank very, you, Matt. We are so excited yeah. to be joining Xbox Game Studios. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff. <laughs> uh, Forza stuff. Excel stuff. <laughs> whatever you want, we are there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Double fine hello game, when, Halo game when. Oh, that's such a relief because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look at this I've never heard that these guys were apparently working on Fable. Hmm. Psychonauts 2. Yeah. This is looking pretty good. My name I have a lot of this stuff so far. I am really and happy. Today is my first official day on the job. We're on a mission. Rasputin? I'm on him. Looking for me? <laughs> oh, jeez. This... Oh, it's going to be an Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> How weird Psychonauts is. Psychonauts is fucking bizarre. Yeah, it's a very bizarre game. It was really good, but really dark too. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm I need to play the first one. I have it. I just gotta pick it up with my uh, PS4 controller. I remember the fate of Leela as well. That's actually quite depressing. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, yeah, you get a thumbs up. Yeah, you get a thumbs up. So far, nothing's really disappointed World me. Premiere. Uh, I'm not disappointed, but I'm not really super excited about a lot of it. Oh, oh what? what? Uh, Something new. Oh. A Lego Star Wars uh, game? Uh, are they doing a... F this is a remaster, is it? It's a remaster. I bet you it's every single one of them. It totally is. Redone. This is a fucking remaster, isn't it? <laughs> that was actually quite fun. Uh -oh. Come on. Like yes! Like it's a fucking remaster! <clears throat> oh. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, did y'all remember that, that really dark... Uh, Star Wars game that was being made where you played like a criminal mm -hmm. in one of the big planets, like yeah. city planets. I was really expecting that. Twenty thirty three. Ooh! Ooh! What's this? Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. This is Project Z, isn't it? Or is this Universe Three? Oh. No, it's Project Z. I recognize your style. It's Project Z. It used to be. Is this the thing with all the alternate timelines? No, this is retelling Z. That's what Project Z is. It's a game, Dragon Ball game that's retelling Z.
I was hoping we were going to see this. This looks okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody just put in the chat, spoilers, WTF. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this, this actually looks really good. The problem is, I have a feeling it's centralized on Goku, if this is the case. Mm-hmm. Like the oh, it's an that is a cool. Okay, that's a kind of cool name. I like that. I like that name. It's it's generic, but I like it. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. World premiere. World premiere. Something new. And a Purna. What'd they do? Something completely new. Oh, it's by Purna. Oh, this game is supposed to be emotional as fuck. You want to guess what it is? Hmm. It's supposed is to be your like a then. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? My father died, died of a heart attack? No, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's going to knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything! We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door, right now! You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop! No. You're under arrest. No. Hey! You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? It's like a branching past game. I have a feeling you're in charge of the choices. Mm -hmm. You relive it all and you've got to make things right. Yeah, basically Groundhog Day. Mm -hmm. Or last Tuesday. Mm. Pretty interesting, it's a thumbs up. Thumbs up for me. It's okay. What's next? Oh, already got a nice art style. Is this crossing road? <laughs> Where to the woods? It's the woods. Ooh. Oh, fuck, it's Bambi the game. Ooh. Wow, this looks really nice. Really? That long. Oh hell, this does look very trippy. Oh, it's based in Japan as well. Why does this remind me of concrete of uh, Tokyo Jungle? The music's very happy and like cheery, but it doesn't look like a cheery game to me. I don't think it is at all. So you have to take care of your your doe. There's a mother and a child. It's basically a mother and a child. Man, you know the mother's gonna die. I get Let, that, that's why I said Bambi the game. Yeah, you know that you're gonna have to sacrifice yourself with the child at some point. Either that or the kid's gonna die. That's what's Game Studios. Gears Gears of War. That's what Game Studios is this This means we're getting a sequel. Oh, Gears of War. Yeah. This will be the last one. If this is the case. Oh god, they're using this track.
Oh yeah, it's no longer the locust anymore. Years of war. Five. If you're watching, if you're wondering, she's half locust. Mm. From the coalition, please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. Looks like Woody Harrelson. If he was like really old, he's the guy that made Gears. Mm. Thanks, everyone. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. Ooh. And if you want to play four days early, you can with our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Boo. Pass Ultimate. Boo! Early release via Ultimate Edition. Fuck off. With Gears uh. 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, you just lost my trust, dude. By doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for our versus multiplayer tech test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all new competitive game type. Well, arcade. sure. I'll, I'll play that. In August, at Gamescom, go, go hands on with the all new Horde mode and see how character yeah. abilities. No, I want the tide to play the Horde mode. Because right. I really like the Horde mode in, in Gears September, 3. In September, we return to the biggest Gears right. campaign mm -hmm. ever, where we'll explore see more with... Cape Harrowing Journey and huh? celebrate our launch on September 10th. See with. But what are we talking about today? The Xbox getting most of this. Mm -hmm. You do know this means me and you can play together most of the time case, now as well. As yeah. Three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, time. and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about gear. Well, it's like objective. Turned up to 11. Sounds like a bit like Rush, maybe. So wait, does this... No what campaign. the fuck is happening? I left for 10 minutes and I come back and the stage is getting shot at. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> get down! Get down! There's a shooter! Bang! Bang! I have a feeling that's gonna be somebody either dressed up as a Gears character or Mira. Sounds like a Locust character. Ooh. Mira. Or is it Ra? Wait, why are we under the stage? Yeah, what is that? This is creepy. They got a bunch of computers set up. Oh, they're gonna be playing here. Enjoy fucking Apple App you players. They attacked, and we lost Doom. everything. Wait. Everything except the need for revenge. No, this is still Gears. This might look like a surrender, but it's not. Oh, that's Lee. Um, that's Lee Evans' voice actor. The guy from Walking Dead. Hmm. Ugh. Oh god. Oh yeah, this is doing to people now. I think it's more than just one story. I don't like how those dudes have intestines on them. Makes me very not happy. Is this well, a, this, this is, is just what this is what they do in Alien? Yeah. The objective mode. Why is everything so fleshy? It's because they're going down a more darker and disgusting route. It does look okay. So this is the game. This is the game mode they were talking about. By the way, that's not um, Locust you're seeing. Mm. I'm not familiar with the uh, yeah. Gears of War series in any way, so it's I'm, all I'm, foreign to me. I'm vaguely familiar. Like, I, I played Gears of War 3 and that's it. Essentially what you're seeing right now is um, literally a zombie virus. Mm. The Flood. Yeah, this is like their own version of the Flood. That's a fucking DP! Can I get it in a song rifle with teeth on it? But it's, it's literally a fucking DP-28. Yeah, but it's got teeth. But it got teeth. Very chunky. It was very chunky, man. That's the version of the Lancer, which you're seeing right there. Yeah. 
So this is this, yeah, this is the competitive mode they're talking about. The kind of rush mode where you have to go in and destroy the high bases. It looks okay. I mean, we're not seeing gameplay, so I can't really say it looks okay. I can just say, yeah, the cinematic trailer looks interesting, at least. Cinematic looks good enough. I... Why the hell was um, that a little Wayne version of uh, Ozzy's crazy track? Hmm. Probably because someone liked how it sounded. Also, oh, yeah, the robots are. Oh. Here I am inside my stomach. An aggressive three player co op oh, experience. Jesus. Perfect for your living room couch. They're going to show up a match. It's not just about busting hives. You can build them too and challenge your friends hey, look, with the experiences go, you create. Hey, look, gameplay in the background. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three oh. WWE superstars. Xavier no, Wood, don't make celebrities play AJ it. Styles, don't do that. Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and uh, so at home, Tyler Breeze. The next two days, you and your friends oh my God. Play in uh, uh, a little poll came up and asked how hyped you were for the years of War 5. Oh, and um, when I answered it, I noticed the Meh had the most answers of like 50, 60 percent. Oh my god. <laughs> so are they showing us a match or are we... So wait, we're getting to see what the pre-order is? Terminator? Terminator. Yep. That's Terminator. Yeah. Let me guess, you get to play as the Terminator. And get the Terminator Dark Fate character pack. Oh. That thing's supposed to be a villain. Is this Terminator? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Shit, it is. What, the, what a fucking weird thing to announce. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. We're... we're... Wait, we're or Xbox Game Pass. So if you've got the Game Pass, you get that too. Just the heart is just the oh this is a new Xbox controller. The new Elite controller, is it? Ah, uh, it's a new Elite controller. Mm. The world's most advanced controller, don't forget that it also costs 120 pounds. The most overpriced controller in the fucking world. Um what is Oh you're okay. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. That is pretty cool. I do like super configurable shit like this. It's, it's kind of nice. It's just way too oh. expensive. Oh, oh that's yeah, hair awesome! Trigger. Hair trigger locks. That's kind of neat. That gives you a fucking edge! That's, that's pretty cool. To make the farm sticks higher. Oh. Bluetooth, oh. that's nice. Forza. Bluetooth connectivity, that means you can even uh, connect to it. That means you can connect to a PlayStation. This is a good controller. Shame it's gonna that's cost too much. Charging, dog, up to 40 hours. Oh, uh, wait. It, you said it, it, they said it's Bluetooth. Does that mean you can use it with like a, a PlayStation, like you said? Yeah. Yeah. You can use it with PC. So. PlayStation and PC, literally, that thing is great. They did, they did, and they don't give us a price because they knew as soon as we give the price, uh, no one's interested anymore. Let me guess, it's 200 and something quid. I bet. Oh. Dying Light 2! Yeah. Dying Light 2? Yeah, I don't know how interested I am. He told me never I'm forget okay with this. Where I come from. Good game. Dying Light's a good game. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is deadly. It was. <laughs> Thing is, he started off weak, got stronger. Mm -hmm. with it. I might be gone. With the original Dying Light? Yeah, started off very weak, but it got stronger. I mean, yeah. Dying, Dying Light 2's been showing off this, like, like last year they showed off this, uh, the virus apparently super robust the choice system. And every time what? someone's like, every time a company says, yeah, you can do your choices that affect the storyline, like how it progresses, I'm always like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I bet it's a railroad it regardless of the choices, aren't you? I bet like like one conversation is gonna be different. Yeah. Every day the like you can change just who dies and who lives and that's going to be it. Probably. That's what it seems to be. 
That's the only- that's the only thing I'm concerned about in regards to Cyberpunk 2077. Like, everything else I'm okay with. Those were firefighters. Wait, infected? Yeah, you start off- Ooh. I mean, I'll be interested if it's not an Epic exclusive, but this is not the conference World for that. Premiere. World premiere, let's go. World premiere, that's something brand new. Oh. Here we go, it's a car. Oh, it's Guys, a look, look, it's a car. It's a DLC. Why would it be a world premiere? Here's world premiere DLC. That's what yeah. it is. It's going to be a world premiere for DLC. Totally is. Yep, won't put me for DLC. What the fuck? Oh, we're getting trucks. Oh, Lego. Yeah, they what? did the Hot one last year. We're getting Lego now. What? Wait, <laughs> Lego Forza. <laughs> <laughs> Lego That's... Forza! That's kind of cool. That is actually pretty cool! Oh my god, that is actually awesome! <laughs> it's either a DLC or it's an actual Lego fucking Forza game. It's not a Lego Forza game, it's DLC. Okay, I'm okay with that, actually. I, I don't play Forza, but like, that's, that's, that's neat. It's one Cute. of the better racing games out there if you want to try and get into a racing game. It, it, this is, it's cute. Yeah. Well, they had a Hot Wheels one last year. Mm hmm. Which was good fun. I'm glad that they used Everything is Awesome as well, because they just reminded the Lego move. June 13th. Ralph Lovely. Oh, the car's made of Lego! I didn't the notice! Holy shit. Combine funny funniest thing is, I just think that's just, I think it's just painted that way. <laughs> Maybe. You get this incredible life-size Lego speed champion. No, that's, that's Legos. Combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon that's with the flavor that's of Lego. Lego. Fucking hell. You get the Forza Horizon 4 Lego speed champions expansion. Man, I can't you will drive this imagine the work LEGO that someone had to put in to get that done. In an entirely new world, packed. With inventive new challenges, new Why do I get the floor. feeling that what they're going to do here is have that be separate from the actual season pass? Because Lego always do that. You know, like, it's, it's that uh, I can't imagine being approached by a. Uh, oh, it's the it's the dumb gears thing. What we got now? The dumb oh. gears spinoff. Gears Paul. Okay, that can... looks ridiculously adorable. But I can't imagine being approached by Xbox to be like, "Hey, can you guys build us a life size, a life size car, please?" That also stands that up with its wheels. Is that Ram? Oh, it's on iOS and Android. Uh, mobile game. This is an app game. Bingo. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's, I mean, uh, it's it's a, it's a mobile game, so that that would be a part. That would be a, a thing on the the bingo card. Wow, it looks well, painful. I get the feeling it's going to be very. It painful. has loot boxes. Oh no. It's also it also looks painfully generic. Oh, it's one of those games. <laughs> Most mobile games are like ninety percent of mobile games are just free textures of existing. Excuse games. me while I get a bucket. This was Game Studios. State of Decay. Ooh, yeah. This means a sequel. This means a sequel. No. State of Decay 2! Yes! Wasn't the original State of Decay kind of shit? Yeah. Well, it was okay if you like zombie games. Where are we going? Brand new store. Brand new store. Where are we going? My mission. Find Two the father different... I never knew. My oh, new survivors. Find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last okay. time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen. Oh my. Was in Trumbull Valley. Today. Yes. 
Wait, is this DLC out today? That's the thing. I've only heard legend. Holy sh I've shit, the place has gone to powers. hell. There Here, where the, are the many. infected Here, started. Can become stronger. For so long, I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. This is where it's my story building. Can end. Oh, fucking airsoft G thirty. No, no airsoft GL. Could begin. I thought we had seen everything. We ain't seen this nothing. This is Turnbull Valley. This is where the infection started. I'll be honest. I care like zero. <laughs> The thing is, I love this game. What's the thing? Big expansion. Mm, oh. Available now. Available now. Great. That's something I'm gonna play. World premiere. Ooh. Sega. World premiere. Something in Sega. Yeah, you use the game on the Xbox. Which of the following games are you most excited for? I'd ask another poll. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 has 82% of the vote. Fantasy <laughs> Star! <laughs> it's Fantasy Star! It's Fantasy Star. You ever heard you? Fantasy Star. Definitely. We're finally getting it over here. Hell yeah. With crossplay, that's pretty good. There was some good uh, traditional JRPG female armor there. Yep. I bet you that's higher levels. So. God. All the. We're getting all of it. Probably. I honestly like these cinematic. I would just want to see gameplay. Like, this doesn't get me excited. <laughs> Like Aaron. Aaron. Hmm. I want to spoil it. This is gameplay. This is not gameplay. This is like in in you can film you can do you can film your in-game battles. You can do stuff like this. None of that was in gameplay though. This isn't gameplay. Wow. This is not gameplay, mm -hmm. so. This is a cinematic trailer. And I'm I they don't Never really get me. Fancy Star Online 2. Really? Hey, Phil Spencer, how you Those doing? Those of you who have played Fantasy oh, no. Star hey, know Phil. that this game had influenced many of the most popular games today. So with great delight, we welcome Sega back to our stage and Fantasy Star back on Xbox. The dude taking his picture of him. As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, Me. playing their <laughs> games, and introducing you to their games, these are the best parts of my job. Other people Back in E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition. 2017. To bring their massively popular game with its passionate community What's of this? A PC legend comes to Xbox PC One. Players to the entire what? world. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smile Games. Unreal. Their approach to game design demonstrates what they I've never heard of Smile Game. Goal. Me neither. What have they made? Smile Game. Next year, Unreal. you'll discover the newest Unreal? entry in this landmark we're getting Unreal tournament. This on is? console for the very first time, only on Xbox. They do mobile this games is and PC online games. It's, it's not unreal. Okay, okay, these are the guys that made PUBG. So this says Crossfire X. Crossfire. Isn't Crossfire the the Mad Max car making game? No, that's um. Cross out. Ah. Oh. So what the hell oh, is this? Crossfire is that online game that was really really good but sadly died, but the community kept it alive. Is it like a battlefield clone? No, 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 no. It's um, literally, it's one huge map. Everything's on it, and um, literally, there's certain sectors that everybody needs to fight for. Oh, uh, so it's like uh, it's like Planet Side Two. 
yeah, everything's destructible. There's different classes. You can make deals with folk and everything. Like you've seen here. Because, for example, there's two factions that I remember from. There's the SAS and there's uh, Spetsnaz. And literally, depending on where you're from, depends on what currently the game puts you in. Huh. Hmm. I could jive with this. For example, if me and Aaron played, it would be in the SAS. Hmm. Would I be in, like, Hit Force of American? Yeah, Task Force 4, more than likely. Hell yeah. Um, if you went to the Master of the Nas, Germany, G-I-G-N. Well, that was France. So wait, is it combined arms, or is it just infantry? Combined arms, everything's in this, including just normal armor, the every everyday armor, vehicle. Ooh. Uh, anti-air, everything. You can even drive, been... um, you can even drive, um, in aircraft carriers if you want to. I mean, until they show me gameplay, I'm not interested. <laughs> so, so, you can drive, so this is literally like the old Battlefield games. Remember the old ones you can drive around in the fucking cruisers and shit? Yep. And it's, those were the days. Inspired I mean, by the old Battlefield games. I mean, what you what you explained, it sounds a lot more interesting than the trailer they just showed for it. Yeah, because it, it, well, it's a lot more interesting if you get to play World the actual game. Premiere. Sadly, the normal Crossfire servers are down. Uh, what is there? this? Ooh. Oh, we got planets. No, Bandai no Namco. No, Bandai Namco. Okay, Wait, near two? Near two? No, sorry, near three in that case? Near three. Is it near three? No. In near as in near automata? Yeah. Like the, yeah. what's called the robots? Yeah, yeah. near automata. Yes, no. Holy fuck, it's... Well, the power of Magnum will certainly have the power. No. Oh, Jesus, is Daft Punk again? Nah. <laughs> just Did pull... you just rip a fucking sword out of her? <laughs> Y'all ever cleavage sword? Is this made by Platinum? This looks like the type of thing Platinum would make. This looks very Monster Hunter-ish. Monster Hunter-ish. Kind of does. Like classic Monster Hunter. Gamers rise up. Tales of Arise. Tales of Arise. Hmm. Nani Deska. Oh my, oh my, Shinderu. Bonnie. Bonnie. Next. This looks okay. Borderlands is the DLC for Borderlands 2. Yep. I used to be one of it's them. It's connecting Borderlands My 2 to Borderlands Lily, 3. And I need you. Wait, she says she used to be one of them. Also, before you wonder, that's not Tina, that's Mozzie. I don't know either or so. I am probably gonna be him. <laughs> Same flick. Captain Flint's son. See, I would be interested in this game if Randy Pritchford didn't call us, didn't say, tell us to fuck off, so. Wait, you can. Is that. Did that gun start firing loot? Yeah. The Children of the Vault is a psycho cult. Ten billion followers demand we join or die. Captain Jack's daughter and... Sorry, I didn't know the characters for them. I really don't know how Jazz Dan about Borderlands. I would have been interested if it wasn't for, like, the whole Epic Store thing and also Randy. Well, yeah. everyone knows gang it, so... I've that's, never that's really a, enjoyed like loot based I mean, shooters like this anyways. I I, I, mean, I consider that runs. like a I consider it like a super terrible response. It's just an excuse. 
Like, you were gonna buy it anyway. So you're like, oh, everyone else is getting it, I might as well get it. No, that's just an excuse. I know, but I've been replaying Borderlands 2 and 3 Sheep, but I'm okay with that. I'm not putting any money in Randy Pitchford's pocket for him to jerk off to the underage woman. The 13th of the 9th. Oh, far away. But wait, there's more. Oh. Oh wait, there's even more. Oh, new Borderlands. Oh, setting stage for Borderlands 3. So, that's probably gonna explain how Lilith loses her fucking siren powers. World premiere. Why do I get the feeling it's because she overdoses on Iridium? World premiere. World premiere, something new. This is an exclusive as well, more than likely. Nothing really implies that, but we'll see. I think that World premiere is out. Are there exclusives? Oh, it says PC. Mm -hmm. PC. PC on Windows. Get a tacky. Is this the thing from from? Yeah, this is the thing from From Software, where they're doing a George R. R. Martin game. It might be it might be a Game of Thrones. Is this the game of? Oh, this, this is probably going to be that Game of Thrones Dark Souls style game I've been hearing about. Mm-hmm. I doubt. Where did all those hands come you from? You could even imagine it. It's supposed to represent a grip on reality. Dude, he's Shigaraki. This is Shigaraki when he's older. That which commanded the yeah, stars, yeah, Game of Thrones. Giving life its fullest brilliance. I think it's Game of Thrones? Or is this the like a dark... I could imagine if it was a Dark Souls thing. Oh, Elden Ring. Shattered. By someone. Or something. Wait, Lord of the Ring? I don't think it's Lord of the Rings. Tell me you don't see it. Look up at the sky. It Is that on Ganon? Yeah, it's Ganon. He's on fire. Bird. This is burning. If we don't get Escape 4, a lot of people are going to be angry. Honestly, I'll just pop off on the Microsoft headquarters if we don't get Skate 4. Elden Ring. Good to laugh at this. Oh, um, Elden Ring. It's set in the Game of Thrones universe. From From Software. Developed by, yeah. It's set on the. Nah. It's set in the Game of Thrones universe. It's the after story of Mar. This is a Uh, so far, this conference is kind of losing me. It's been losing me for the past like 20, 30 minutes. I'm okay with most. I'm getting kind of bored. I was to one person related and I saw it. And Halo. So waiting for Halo. I'm still waiting for Halo. They're gonna show it last. Bet you Halo will be right at the fucking end. We showed you 60 games. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you. Wait, that was connecting all of these creators yeah. to all of you. I feel like it. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower Wait, so everyone that's all I've got to show. everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways: through Project X Cloud and oh, this is the through console Sony, streaming. Is it? Two no, don't ago, do console we streaming. We connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. <laughs> to experience the freedom to play right here at the show. Okay. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature. Oh, so wait, you Console can, oh, streaming. this is gonna be their it play turns anywhere. Your Xbox One yeah, this is like the Google Stadia thing. And free mm. X Cloud server. Oops. Whether you're using a console in our data center I'm okay with this. or your console, I'm not because because streaming October, game streaming is shit. You'll be able to use our hybrid well, gaming if it's cloud. If it's being able to play games, games anywhere, but now you just needs an Xbox One just that can hold it up. Yeah, well, okay. well, if you're able to play games anywhere, as Where long as you have an Xbox One. Entirely your yeah, choice. sure. You decide. You also need a TV. So let's talk about our next sure. console. Like a phone. 
Like, I doubt people are going to be... Oh, we're talking about the next console now. Good. Go, come on. Okay, Let's go. The go. console next is console. vital this and is central right. to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built well, gonna be and optimized next year. for one thing and one thing only. Playing games. Gaming. Yes. This is... So the same team that created the world's yes, most like powerful what you tried to do console, last year. Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite controller. No. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's oh, okay. Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live. This same team set we out. We fucking get on it. Come mission. on. Oh god, to create fire, the future of gaming His for you. Lip sync's really bad. Oh, they're revealing it. When we think about oh the god, future of gaming, people. it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile. It's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. I have a feeling this is gonna be something. We that don't want to build just mobile. another console. We truly want it to be transformative. Ooh. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. So how do we make it easier? I was about to say. To get into the game, to stay in the game. One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. <laughs> I'm an RPG gamer, and so like I could go coochie coochie coo and not feel good. Thing, mm -hmm. sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. This is just an elevator ride forever. Jesus Christ, That's our her nose! Gaming is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our next what generation console world? is our custom designed oh, processor, so it's now, is it? the latest. We don't know. They're not really showing it off. Just yet. they're kind of AMD. easing it. From From the hour processing perspective, so. this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging four times more powerful than the Xbox One. You don't need more power, really. Well, I suppose possible. It as long as it's like being a bad but fair. Resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before, like never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K I'm okay with high frame variable rate. refresh rate. Next Stop talking about 8K. 8K is a fucking farce. This is hardware Jesus. accelerated yep. for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what Four gives times. you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back. I mean, this is all this is all we marketing jargon until you actually show us something. And bring it to the game. One hundred and twenty frames per second. So How the fuck? The That's not that hard, but when you can move through world as long as the, as long as you can make games play at sixty frames per second, I'm I'm good. Is what the next generation is about. If a game runs at thirty FPS on your fucking next console, I'm gonna really shove it in the bin. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios. I suppose that's why they envisioned well all those games in 8K, huh? Working on those next or did no one do that and they're just today. doing buzz it's term shit? Commitment to it's losing me. Xbox it's games amazing. Studios. 13 I'm studios, tired. 7 in the last year. I mean, there. This is a pandering. It's a very pandering thing. Worlds. With the next generation, it's not Halo we can bring mythos. the world to uh, life in a way we've never that. experienced Halo before. I bet you that's the we're last thing they're going to show. It is because they've they ever will. seen them before. This yeah, are they going to show off awesome two other things? Oh, we're, we're getting, getting faster load times. Getting some better we're looks. To experience all the games within. It's circular. We're giving I don't, gamers I don't the option so. to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never yeah, were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Yep. People were correct. Project Scarlet. Next one, Scarlet. And we got a release date. Let's go, Project Scarlet. Holiday 2020. This is Project Scarlet. So we're not getting to see it. Most powerful Probably not. The highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimize for players to enjoy it better the not be like experience on a, a fucking paperweight like the Xbox One is. 
immersive experience better not be massive at the very heart of the console at the silicon level itself Let me guess, together with our partners at amd we like. have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for project scarlet so buzz terms i don't care show me something power you could see defined silicon I, I could put that thing on my chest power and call it my and tits performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console <sighs> and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Ooh. Ooh. Well, because it humanity is a was and Halo. is worth saving. Halo. Next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Yes! Revealed. Woo! We're getting a reveal of Halo Infinite. So, Are we? So they're launching Project Scarlet and Halo at the same time. Mm -hmm. Is this is Halo? I want to bet it's going to be bundled. UNSC logo. Yeah, this is Halo. I love the way the armor in Halo, like, even for like the regular fucking dudes. Yeah, the way it's kind of like uh, angled and tacky-ish looking. I've just realized something. <clears throat> yeah, this is gonna be set earlier in Halo. No, it's not. Halo Infinite was confirmed to be two years ahead of Halo 5. Okay. Daddy's listening. Can you say hi? Hi. I thought it would be Cortana. It's not Cortana. Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you so big, stupid? <laughs> and can you sing? Oh, for fuck's sake. They're doing the... How about, I They're doing you. the the soldier with the child at home you. story, are they? I love you, Daddy. I, love I mean, Daddy. where and does this come in? Oh, can you see oh. You? See you. Okay, bye oh bye. God! Bye. Holy hell, it's Joel from Last of Us. Damn, they hit that transition he's, pretty hard. He's in deep space. <clears throat> yep. If he's that cool. Everything behind him is freezing as well. Yeah. Here. Look at that beard, man. Come on, Chief. Save this boy. But I get the feeling that's what's about to happen. This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? Is he in a Pelican? This is UNS. Yep, Pelican. Oh! Chief! Oh shit. Well, that's not the first time in the fandom floating in space like that. That was. Is this him or is it Zarmer? <clears throat> it's him if it's standing. Looks like the main oh, power cells are flat. No, the armor can stand on its own. Wait, wait, wait. Shut down. It is just the armor. Also, he has one, one seven on his chest. That's they've never done that I'm in official right. official media. It's only been in expanded kind okay. No, they have the um, the uh, Escape from Reach movie. I hope you're ready. Expa that's expanded one, canon. That's expanded. Oh no, he is in there. Chief is in there. He's about to shock him back to life. Ooh. Wow. Wait, is this? Yes! It's the booting sequence. Yes! Yes! We're going home! <laughs> oh, we 
Welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what needle power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem Wait, with the servos in your this hands. Chief? I'm just thinking that. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. Wow, this looks gorgeous. I know I saw something in here. Oh, that looks armor's great. Diagnostics. Is this gameplay? Because this looks phenomenal. Hey, look, there's Cortana's AI chip. AI not detected. Whoa, 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 whoa. We see there, big guy. Either that or this is how the game's going to look. Status report. Big cutscene. There's something you need to see, Chief. I wonder how long he's been out for. The hail ring. We lost. The <laughs> chief just lost everything. Yeah. Yeah, halo ring. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think for here is. Wait, that's the ring from Halo Three. I don't think it is. Not or is it Halo Two? Sorry. No, because Halo Infinite is going to be set on a different we ring. Need to run. No. We need a fight. Show us game, please. Please show us gameplay. Get ready. Come on, gameplay, gameplay. No. Three, two, one. Oh. Now that's just a cocky. Oh. Oh, yes, come on. Come on. This is gameplay. Special. That's the bit with the. That's that kind of same kind of room with the monitor died. I knew mm. we would be perfect together. Is he here in Cortana I still? Right. Yep. Ooh. Three for free industries. Okay. Is that it? Damn it! Is that all we're seeing for another Wait. year? For another year. So, this is ending. Yeah, this is the ending. Final ring. Uh, it was it was it was average. It was was all right. I'd say seven out of ten. I'd say it's more like a like six or a seven ish. It's closer to that. It was pretty boring in the second half, and like. I'm kind of disappointed that's all we saw of Halo Infinite. Why do I get the feeling there's going to be something after this is... No, Microsoft don't do that. Nintendo do uh, that. I mean, they can start doing that, but I don't think they do. If they do, it'll be a first. But it's been... It's been okay. It had its moments. It had, it had a couple... had a couple dozen good announcements. Everything looked good apart from that pop game. I mean, everything looked acceptable apart from that pop game. Yeah. Even if it was cinematics and no gameplay, it looked. I really wish we could have seen more Halo Infinite. I uh, really wanted to see a first too. person view. Like a proper. <clears throat> Yeah, Xbox aren't the type to do post stream things, so I think this is it. Just wait and see. No, this is it. Yeah. Uh, uh definitely worse than last year's. Okay. Well, still seven out of ten for me. It was all Who's right. next, by the way? Bethesda at one thirty a.m. All right, I ain't gonna be awake for that. <laughs> uh, was that? Who was? When's the next one? Bethesda's at 1.30 a.m. today. Well, in the te morning. Technically tomorrow. Technically tomorrow, but it's in like a few hours. Like six hours. Like, like four hours. Uh, define few hours. Uh, let me look at the E3 countdown. It is two... It's three hours away. Okay. I'll still be alive. Nice. Right. I can't do that because of my mom and dad. <laughs> I just live in the basement like a true Chad. Uh, yeah, I don't even have a base. Uh, we have a. Do you have um, a shovel? 
I do have a shovel, but not a... Not a then not then you have a basement now. <laughs> I don't want to dig up the bodies that are already in the floorboards. Um, ah, but how long have you been there? Are, they, are the nights have dried up? Now you got a snack. We've been well, at the council house, so we can't even edit it, really. Uh, it was, uh, uh, man, uh, I wish we could have seen more of Halo Infinite. Come on, man. Give us, like, two minutes of gameplay. One minute. Thirty seconds, even. I wanted to see more than a cinematic trailer. The one thing that really did that really did make me happy was the cyberpunk stuff that they showed off. I don't, it, it, there was still a cinematic trailer. Like, I think this, honestly, I think that's what I'm disappointed about most of when it comes to this direct, not direct. There's literally a 40-minute gameplay demo that's been out. Of yeah since like last year like we know what the game's gonna play like yeah but i mean like for, for talking about this 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 conference like 90 percent of the really like big things we didn't actually no actually i'm pretty confident we saw no gameplay from any of the big announcements maybe like and and i mean like the big stuff like the the big maybe five games or so we saw no gameplay we just saw we just saw cinematic trailers and that's yeah. really disappointing. Really disappointing, actually. Because uh, yeah. cinematic trailers don't do anything for me. I mean, a little bit for Halo, because I'm a Halo fucking fanboy. I'm a massive Halo fanboy, but... Even still... Ugh, it was just a cinematic trailer. It was just, hey, look, here's Chief, here's a ring, here's his assault rifle. Look, there's Cortana, guys, do you remember Cortana? Here's Cortana, do you remember Cortana? And then it's like, cool, okay, thanks. Cinematic trailer, no gameplay, nothing. Don't know how the game plays, how it looks. Nah. <sighs> so it was... It was it, I'm, I'm making it sound horrible, but it's... It was it was good. It's it's, possible. It was it was a good watch. Definitely not as good as the, the, the previous one. And frankly, far too many cinematic trailers. Far, far too many. And yeah. what I was expecting to see did not get seen. But, I mean, still enjoyable. Still hype. Still hype for, for E3. But, yeah. see, and, see, and then the problem is at this point, we don't really have anyone else. Like, that. That's this is the best we're going to get. That, mm. that Microsoft conference is the best we're going to get. We're going to get Doom Eternal, which, yeah, I want to see more of that. That, that would be great. We're not, we don't have Sony, so they're not doing anything. And then Ubisoft, Nintendo. Ubisoft, Ubisoft usually shit the bed, but at least they're hilarious. The conference, yeah. the conferences aren't good, but at least they're hilarious. And Devolver, uh, are they? Devolver, but theirs is at like four a.m. today, so I'm, we're, we're not. They're going to be more for the hilarity that they normally bring. I watch those after the fact. Mm -hmm. And then what else do we have? We have Devol. No, we have a uh, Bethesda. Talked about those. We have PC Ubisoft. Game. PC gaming, I'm pretty interested in because it has a Terraria announcement, and I'd like to see what they have going on. Mm -hmm. But um, what else is there? Nintendo. Nintendo okay, yeah. I think then I think Nintendo they're probably going to be better than this one. They might own it this year. I think Nintendo is going to, but usually Nintendo own it every year. That's that's the mm -hmm. thing. But I think that Nintendo have like a really good shot to own it this year because they're they, they're not the type to show cinematic trailers. They don't. They don't go. Hey, here's boom, explosion, bang, gun, boom, sh sh super cinematic. Here's not actual gameplay, but it's super cinematic. Look, there's a lot of action. Nintendo aren't the type to do that. Nintendo are usually the type that actually shows off gameplay. You know, they they're the type that actually does that. And we're gonna see Animal Crossing, so I think Nintendo have this in the bag. The well, I get the feeling. You know how Nintendo always used to screw up online. Nintendo do this really, really fascinating thing where they they make the right announcements. They're like, yeah, this has multiplayer. This is split screen co-op. It just has, like, it looks really good. It's an open world. There's lots of stuff to do. It looks really nice. And then they, in like an addendum after the announcement's been made, they're like, oh yeah, but you can only do it at like 5 a.m. in the morning and you have to have 300,000 rupees. And if you don't have that, the game shuts off and you lose all your progress. It, and they make some stupid addendum, which always ruin it, like with the Super if Mario you Maker. If you eat Animal Crossing, you die in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, for example, if you accidentally delete the game without, if you accidentally fucking 
if you do if you do the Rossetti, literally he fucking comes into your house with his pickaxe and runs up to your fucking room and just dunks you on the head. Okay, here is a no. It's not a prediction, but it's a hope. It's like a very very good hope because we're moving on from Xbox. There's nothing to talk about from Xbox to be honest. But, but here's a here's a hope for Animal Crossing on the Switch. I want them to do a day night cycle that doesn't that isn't in real time. I want them to do it like every two hours or so. Every three hours, every four hours. Make it like half a day. Because the problem with Animal Crossing, for me, is that every time I want to boot the fucking game up, it's always at like 10 p.m. where none of the stores are open, so I can't progress and I can't do anything. I can't talk to anyone. Everyone's sleeping and there's no fucking point. So... That's, that's my problem with Animal Crossing and why I can't get into it. Because it's like, oh yeah, this is like a full-time job. You play it from 9 to 5. If you don't, you don't actually progress in the game. And Man. so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to do something else or they're going to be a bit more lenient. Like, have like a like a really sketchy uh, nighttime pawn shop. You know what I mean? Like, a, like a, or, or just have uh, villagers and like store owners that are no, not nostalgic, uh, that are no, nocturnal. Like the owl and stuff like that. Like the bat and that, yeah. Just just um, make it so that people who are playing at fucking 10 p.m. don't get punished for playing the game at 10 p.m. Yeah. What um, annoyed me about Animal Crossing was um, the fact being that I always tried to get certain villagers to come to my town, but they never would. And when I got them there, they were really difficult to fucking keep. Yeah, I, I do like, miss I miss playing Animal Crossing and having that feeling of like, no, don't go, don't. I'm gonna try so hard to make sure you don't fucking leave. The one that really annoyed me, and she's quite a good few of people's favorites, is Anka. Mm. Um, with Anka, if you have one person she doesn't like in your village, she will leave. Yeah, it's that much of a snob. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Microsoft's. Pfft, you get like you get a thumbs up from me. You get a thumbs up. A bit disappointing in the later half and too many cinematic trailers. But for the most part, there were. Full on like thumbs up. You get a side thumb. You get like. Uh, like a forty-five degree angle thumb. I yeah. Guess. yeah, yeah, forty-five degree angle. You get like, yeah, you were good, but you could have been so much better. You just give me a little bit more juice, but. You don't get a two thumb. You get a deep thumb. It was still good. I still liked it. I still liked a lot of the announcements. But nothing was really... Like, you know, there was no, like, special announcement. You know what I mean? There was nothing that everyone was yeah. like, What? No way! There was no announcement there like that. There was stuff that we were already expecting, really. All the stuff we were expecting with, like, a little less than what we were expecting because I wanted more. But The indie games looked really good. The indie games did look really good. The ones that we did see. And uh, for the most part, it was very run-of-the-mill. But that spirit one, the purgatory like one. I really like that one. I really it's like really, that one. It's really interesting. Oh, I can't wait to cry to that game. The stuff I've heard behind it is basically you are deaf and you are guiding people to their deaths. Yeah, that looks really nice. I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't say you're guiding them towards it since they're already dead. I'd say you're trying to help them let go and move. Yeah. yeah. There was a yeah, you're basically just helping them resolve maybe like resolve their conscience or whatever so they can die in peace and like their spirit like goes away that looked really nice looked really special that was I'll a real standout i'll just go on to my xbox one and see all the indie stuff mm -hmm. already there yeah they can't go on the game pass right now because a lot of people have just tried to buy it Literally, I'm just sat here and I'm trying to load up my game. Yeah, the fucking store's down as well. <laughs> I mean, I, I do think one of the more interesting things about the Infinite trailer was how he did have the uh, the 117 on his chest, which is a bit weird. It's a bit weird of a design choice, considering he hasn't had it in any games. He hasn't also, had it in... Did you notice that his visor crack's no longer there as well? That's because it's a new armor. Or mm -hmm. it's a redesigned armor. Well, whatever. I'm in my stream now. I'll stream Bethesda's in a few hours. Three three hours-ish. So, yeah, uh, I ain't gonna be there for that one. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna be there for that one. Uh, Durnzel might be here. 
I know that <clears throat> Bippin says that they're going to be here for it. Shoot me a shoot me a message like an hour before it starts because I'm going to go play fucking Battlefield for some dudes. That's that's no problem. Oh well. Oh well. Watch them release like Fallout uh, 69. It's, oh, it's I basically just Fallout, but. I did notice something though. There was something, something like that. It's all out, but it's Todd Howard uh, just whispering lies in your ear section. There was one thing that I did notice, and they said that there was more to be revealed on Halo Infinite on next Inside Xbox. I did notice that in the corner, like, so who knows? We might see Inside gameplay Xbox there. Yeah, but we might see gameplay then. I don't think we will. It's not like, like if you're going to reveal gameplay then, you may as well reveal it now. But. I mean, like that, because that produces a lot more hype. I just want to see the guns. I want to see the fucking art style in the engine being played. I want to see that. But you're not, you're just you're not doing it. We're gonna have to wait another goddamn year. Right, at least, well, at least we know that next year, next year is the one we're getting it. Yeah, we're getting right. more stuff next year. Well, this, this is good, guys. this seems more like a a filler year. You know what I mean? Like a like a, oh yeah, we're passing yeah, we're passing the time. You know, we've got big stuff on the horizon because we're working on the next generation of consoles and the new games that are coming out for that. But, you know... We'll... I'm glad they're releasing the new console with Halo Infinite. That's a that's a very smart move. That's going to sell yeah. a lot of copies. Yeah. Sell a lot of consoles. I'll buy it. I think I'm going to buy the new console because I, I want to play Halo. Actually, because Halo Infinite's coming on PC, I don't fucking need to. Woo! <laughs> yep. Nice. <laughs> Well, it's yes. been nice. Yes. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for Ubisoft, hopefully. See you tomorrow, man. We're, 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 what are we doing? We're doing a... PC Gaming is at 6 tomorrow. I hope when is your Ubisoft one? Ubisoft is at 9 tomorrow, the exact same time as this one. Okay. Uh, Square Enix is at 2 a.m. Fuck those, I'm not playing them anyway. I don't Fuck that. Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo is on Tuesday at 5 p.m. So that's... Okay, that'd be, good. that'd be good to have with my tea. Yeah. It'll be good to just sit and eat it, see something for a while, and watch Nintendo. Because Nintendo's always good. Nintendo's got yeah. that down. Right, well, been good. I finished two bottles of Copperberg in that time. I didn't <laughs> drink it all because, honestly, there was nothing that special to drink about. Well, I drank when it was all apps and fucking indie games and shit. Anyway, see you tomorrow at some point. Later. Yeah. Take care. All right. All right, I'm going to dip ski and fuck around in Battlefield. All right, see you later. Yay!